Hey everybody, it's Christina here from Creations with Christina. Welcome to video number four in our Cricut Design Space series. Our first three videos will be posted down below in the YouTube description or on my blog if you happen to be on the blog post for today's video. For today's video, we're going to work on adding text and editing text. So let's go ahead and get started by adding text to our screen. I'm going to click the text box and our text window is going to appear. We could type in whatever we want to. I'm going to go ahead and type in my name. The system automatically defaults to Cricut Sans. However, you, if you want to change your font, when you have a font box selected, a second toolbar appears. We can go ahead and select the little down arrow and pull up all of our different fonts that are available in the Cricut software. It does default to all, which means it's anything that's available through access, through cartridges you've purchased, or what you have on your computer. If I just want to look at fonts that are available in system, I could just go ahead and click my system, and you can see all of the fonts that are available on my computer. I do have one font that I've used on my blog. It's called Railway. I think that's how you say it. And if we go ahead and type it in, we'll just go ahead and select it, and our font will automatically change to that font. It also will do the style options. There is a regular, bold, italic, and bold, italic. Whatever is available on your system is what's going to be available in the software. I'm going to go back to fonts again, and this time I want to look at just the fonts that are available through Cricut. Oop, we got to remove our search and hit Cricut. And you can see the ones that have the A next to it are the ones that are available through the Access subscription. Ones that don't have anything next to it are ones that I have purchased and are available uh, through cartridges that I own. And ones that I don't own will be $4.99 or different various prices. I think $4.99 is pretty much the same uh, consistent price. Okay. So let's go ahead and click. We're going to go ahead and choose a child's ear. Again, you can go ahead and drag using the arrows. Whoops, I was on the wrong button there. So we can go ahead and drag our image to make it smaller and larger. We can also select our font size by typing it in. So we're gonna type in 72 and that will automatically change. And there's also the styles option. This particular font, because it's a Cricut, Cricut um, font, is also available to be done with writing. So you can use one of your Cricut pens and write out your font. Isn't that adorable? I absolutely love that font. I'm gonna hit Command Z or Control Z if you're on a PC to go back to my A Child's Ear. We went over how to change your fonts, how to change the style, how to change the font size, but you can also change your line spacing. So if you want more or less of a space between your letters, you can go ahead and do that as well. You can also change line spacing. If I had my first name and my last name on here, I could change how much space is in between the two letters. So let me go ahead and show you how. Even though I already have my name selected, if I double click, it'll open up my text window. I can hit the Enter key and type my last name. We can then play with our line spacing. We can also align our text so it aligns left, aligns center, or aligns right. There's also an advanced button where we can ungroup to lines. And it'll take each of our words and make them their own individual text boxes. And if we double click, we can also pull up our text box for, for the individual box. There's also an op, uh, option for ungrouping to letters, so we can pull each letter individually. So one of the ones things I wanted to show you is if you're adding your letters and playing around with the style of it, you can actually group them all together, go up to our align, and align to the bottom, and it'll actually line all of our letters up again. We can also change the color of our letters as well. Just like we did when we were playing with the images, we can go ahead and click on our letters and we can select a color. So you can see I'm changing the color down at the uh, on the bottom. I can go ahead and select my letters here, which is this image right down here, and we can change all of it because it's grouped together to be a different color. 
So I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you have any questions, don't forget to leave a comment. If you're new to my channel, subscribe and click the little bell so you can be notified when I post new videos. Thanks everybody for watching and I'll catch you all in the next video. Bye.